Hey there, Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot again. Today I'm going to unbox, review, and par test the new Spectrum King SK602 LED Grow Light. So let's get to it. The first thing that you notice is that the SK602 comes discreetly packaged in this box. Now this right here is an important note from Spectrum King regarding the hanging heights, which you definitely want to follow. So more on that later. All right, here it is. So check that out. Really well constructed, solid fixture. And the great thing about this is that it's not that big. So check out these diodes, wow. The Spectrum King SK602 LED grow light measures 10 inches wide by seven inches tall by 21 inches long. The fixture weighs 27 pounds. A large driver sits on top of the light and powers the PCB on the bottom of the fixture. The rest of the unit is all heat sink. An additional cord comes off the driver where an optional potentiometer can be installed for a small fee, so the unit can be dimmed down to as low as 10% as needed. Otherwise, the cord end is heat shrinked and not used. The fixture is designed to replace a 1000 watt double ended HID grow light. It is also IP65 water resistant. The unit that I'm showing you here is a greenhouse version, so notice that it's white. The non greenhouse version is black. The only difference is a color, otherwise, they're exactly the same. The Spectrum King SK602 fixture can be used in home grows or commercial settings requiring high intensity lighting. There are 392 diodes encased behind a glass protector. Most of the diodes, 363 to be exact, are full spectrum white diodes, and there are 29 red diodes added to the spectrum. The light spread coming off of the fixture is 120 degrees. The PAR efficacy of the unit is 2.15 micromoles per joule. Now anything over 2.0 micromoles per joule is considered quite efficient and is almost standard for LED grow lights these days. We do not have the official PPF output of the lamp, but we estimate it to be around 1,376 micromoles per second based off the efficacy and the wattage. And although plants do not care about lumens, we'll state it anyways. The lumen output for the SK602 is 94,393 lumens as measured by the manufacturer. The SK602 draws around 640 watts at the wall. The fixture is rated for 110 to 240 volts AC. It pulls about 5.5 amps at 120 volts and around 2.7 amps at 240 volts. A 240 volt plug is available on request. The SK602 spectrum is full spectrum white, about 4000 Kelvin with added red to assist in flowering. The white light spectrum allows a working environment where you're able to see the plant's natural colors. The spectrum is heavy in blue, so right around 450 nanometers, but also has a large bump in red at about 635 nanometers. The high amount of blue in the spectrum is ideal for keeping plants compact in the vegetative stage. There is a lot of green in the spectrum to help increase photosynthesis and canopy penetration. There is also a healthy amount of far red light, which when combined with deep red light can help increase photosynthesis via the Emerson effect. When used as the primary light source, the vegetative footprint for this LED grow light is a whopping 8 foot by 8 foot area. The flower footprint is rated up to a 5 foot by 5 foot area. But based off the light output and uniformity, I would say that this light does a solid 4x4 four four for flower. The hanging distance for veg is recommended at 48 inches to 60 inches. The flower hanging height is recommended at a minimum 28 inches to 36 inches. If your growth space is height restricted, which most of them are, I would not recommend this fixture based off of the hanging heights. Since the light is so concentrated in one spot on this unit, the intensity can harm your plants when put too close to them. As a supplemental greenhouse fixture, this light is meant to cover a 10 foot by 10 foot area for veg or 8 foot by 8 foot area for flower with hanging heights at 78 inches and 60 inches respectively. So if you think this fixture is too powerful for your space, consider the SK402. It's only 400 watts as opposed to 610 watts. I tested the PPFD of this fixture in a 4x4 grow tent. Now it's not really recommended to use this light in a 4x4 grow tent due to the height restrictions, 
but if you can manage at the very least a two foot distance between the plants and the light fixture, you should be okay. And as always, keep in mind that the reflective nature of this tent could increase PPFD readings everywhere, especially in the corners and edges. Also, the quantum meter only picks up about 90% of the light since the far red light is not accounted for in these readings. Therefore, the actual par is a little bit higher. Let's see those readings now. The first reading that I'm going to take is at 36 inches, so this might be an ideal veg height. And at 36 inches, right in the center, we're getting about 675 ppfd. So for veg, you might even want to raise it up a little bit because this might be too close. You can veg with this sort of light intensity, but it might be more than you want or need. Now this is where a dimmer might come in handy. All right, just going around the tent here, checking the readings. So the fact that this light is so powerful and it's raised so high, we're getting pretty even measurements all around the tent. So this looks really good. And then back to the center. I'm just gonna move it around a little bit so you can see the uniformity of this light. So we have a range of about 675 in the middle to uh, I don't know, mid 500s, low 500s as I move it around the tent. My second reading is going to be at 30 inches or about two and a half feet. So right around 850 ppfd right in the center. And as we move it back, again the uniformity is going to be a little bit lower because the light's closer to the tent. About 535 and to the corner about 450. So notice how that uniformity is quite a bit lower. Now for most applications you don't want to go closer than about two and a half feet and you'll see on the last reading that I take we're going to be right around two feet. So two feet away from the canopy is the closest that I would suggest using this light. You could probably go a little bit closer but then you're going to really sacrifice that uniformity. So again moving it around the tent just checking out that uniformity which is still pretty high but not as good as that first reading at 36 inches now finally we're at two feet or 24 inches away from the bottom of the tent see we're at almost 1200 ppfd that's why I wouldn't move this light closer than two feet now at this distance our uh, uniformity is going to be really low, so drop by over half just from moving it to the side. And then in the corner, right around 400. And moving it down to the other side, similar to the back reading, about 560. And back to the center. Looks like we hit 1200. So again, absolute maximum closest distance that I would use this light at for flowering. And lastly, just moving it around the tent, looking at that uniformity. Just kind of all over the board here. And now I'm gonna move the meter up towards the light so you can see how quickly this goes up. I'm probably like six inches away from the bottom of the tent, moving up to a foot. Oh, and my meter went off. Here, here hold on. Let's get that started back up. All right, moving on up. It's about a foot away and we've already maxed out at 4,000 ppfd. So you don't want plants closer than two feet because they'll start to burn. And at a foot away, you're gonna absolutely destroy your plants. So just keep those hanging distances in mind. It's a really powerful light. All right. In the very rare case that you have a problem with your fixture, the Spectrum King SK602 fixture comes with a three year manufacturer's warranty for light intensity and five year warranty for parts. It is UL certified, ETL listed, CE certified, ROHS compliant, and IP65 waterproof and dustproof. Best of all, it's made right here in the USA. The MSRP on the Spectrum King SK602 is $1,495. 
but you can use the code KING, that's K-I-N-G, at checkout at leddgrowlightsdepot.com for an extra 10% off. That includes free shipping in the lower 48 states and no tax. And if you're located out of the U.S., such as Canada or in Europe, just make sure to contact a rep in your country since Spectrum King lights can't be shipped to Canada or Europe from the USA. If you want to learn more or purchase the Spectrum King SK602 LED grow light, click the link in the description. Give this video a like and comment to let us know what you think about it. If you want more content like this, subscribe to us on YouTube or Vimeo. Happy grows. Thank you.